Hi guys, it's Angela. I'm here to do my very first uh, favorites video. Um, I'm going to do just a little bit differently. I'm going to do five favorites I'm loving right now and five not so favorites. Um, those not so favorites are kind of like a love-hate relationship. Um, well, most of them, well, maybe, um, let's see, one, two, Two of the items are um, items that I really like, um, but there's also something that I don't like about them. Um, and then the other three items are just something, it's just things that I just don't like at all. All right, so I think I will start with um, the items that I'm not loving right now. And let's see, the first one is going to be the L'Oreal Ever Pure um, Moisture Leaving Conditioner. And I tried this many times um, because I have a lot of issues with um, my hair is just um, really hard to comb out after the shower. No matter what conditioner I use, it's probably mostly because I am like in serious need of a haircut and um, I'm sure if I get my hair trimmed and get rid of all the dead ends and um, the scraggly ends, it should probably be like a hundred times easier to comb. I just need to try to find the time because um, my schedule is just insane and I can't even find time to get a haircut. Um, but that's besides the fact. No matter what, um, I try to use this and put this in my hair after my shower to help me comb out and it does absolutely nothing. Um, so this is a fail for me. Um, I use the L'Oreal Ever Pure shampoo and conditioner, um, the regular stuff, and I really like that. Um, and I just was hoping to get some extra conditioning out of this to help me comb out my hair, and it didn't help at all. So that was number one. Number two fail is this Ulta Eye Makeup Remover. Um, I really do not like this at all. I don't think it does a very good job at all for removing eye makeup and it kind of irritates my eyes. And um, I mean it says it's oil free. It's uh, gently cleanses um, to, that lift and remove makeup without rubbing or tugging delicate eye area. That's not true. Um, it, I really kind of have to tug and rub my eye area to get this to work and it doesn't really remove very well. So this Ulta eye makeup remover is my fail number two. Alright, this third item is a mascara that I believe I got in some kind of a prize pack um, a few months ago. It's Revlon lash fantasy and it's a two-sided mascara um this one's the primer and this one's the mascara and um i tried this a couple times and i can't stand the primer it just comes out goopy and it doesn't really do much for coating my lashes and then when i put the mascara over it it takes a lot of coats to cover up the white goopy primer um so this I did not like at all, and um, that's my fail number three. All right, so the next two items I do like to use, um, and I still use, it's just they don't work very well. Um, I got three different colors of these, and this is the Wet n Wild Idol Eyes. This one is graphite which is a gray this one is techno <clears throat> excuse me techno which is like a purplish a nice purple color um, this one is distress which is like a navy and they are oh that tip got all messed up on me so they they come out pretty nice and creamy um, this one's just a little flaky, you just have to blend it in. So there's the blue. 
and whoops there's the purple uh, doesn't come out very well and the gray so they come out nice and creamy and smooth um, and I like them for like a thick eyeliner line and some extra pop of color um, but the thing that I don't like about them is that they kind of get all um, they don't stay on very nicely they kind of after a couple hours they're just kind of flake away I mean what's what I'm, I'm trying to say um, they just get like all cracked and creased and not nice looking after a little while um, so these are decent but they're not great the last item number five is my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eyeliners and these everybody raves about everybody loves and I love them I really do um, they have great staying power and um, they glide on really nice um, I really do like these the only thing that I don't like about is um, the fact that I have to sharpen them almost every single time I use them I can't stand um, eyeliners that I have to sharpen. I always get like the twist up ones that all I do is just twist them up and, and go and um, it's just so much easier. Um, I can't stand sharpening my eyeliner pencils because then I feel like I'm sharpening them half of, half of them away and, uh, and I don't get as much good use out of them. So let me just, this one is the, um, the zero. I mean they're just they're great to use and this one is whiskey they're great eyeliners I absolutely love them they just I just have to sharpen them almost every single time and um, I just don't feel like I get enough out of it because it's in the sharpener alright so those are my five products that are like either complete fails or I like them but there's something that I don't like about them and now on to my five favorites that I'm liking right now all right some of these products I've been using for a while and some of them are kind of new um, so let's see the one I know the first item that I've been using I've been using this forever is a physician's formula baked oatmeal um, wet dry eyeshadow uh, trio collection and this thing is just a mess and filthy because I use it constantly and it's got it's got a nice shimmer even the top is like kind of falling apart here they're nice um, shimmery shades and you have like a nice taupe here that I use basically on my lid then I use this nice brown for the um, crease or the yeah the crease then the V at the edge of my eye and then this is the nice highlight that I put like inside the corner of my eye and right underneath my brow and this is like my go-to eye look that I use a lot and I love this set and I definitely will probably repurchase this once this finally gets used up. Alright my second item that I really like a lot right now is also from Physicians Formula and this is the Happy Booster Glow and Mood Boosting Blush. Um, this is something that I won in another little prize pack um, a couple months ago and the colors in here are just perfect for me um, it makes me happy to look at it because it's just pretty cute little hearts and um, yeah I mean there's nothing 
that I do not like about this. Um, it's just a great blush, great color, and I love it. So that is number two. Number three is, um, here is an eye makeup remover that I absolutely love. Um, I've been using this for a while. And it's from Avon Moisture Effective Eye Makeup Remover Lotion. And I think every now and then this goes on sale for like a dollar. And I believe it might be on sale right now. I think I saw it on the Avon website um, for a dollar right now. So I'm going to have to get some more because this is almost empty. Um, this is nice and creamy and moisturizing and um, I just like how it feels on my eye and it does a good job with uh, removing the eye makeup. So that's number three. Alright, number four is my Too Faced Naked Eye Palette. Um, this has been out for a while. I think I got this two years ago, two and a half years ago. Um, the colors in here are just gorgeous, neutral, pretty colors. Um, there's some black and gray on the bottoms, nice pink, um, a nice highlight white up here, and it's just gorgeous. Um, I can do a lots of different eye looks. I can even follow the little cards here, um, this way here like the classic look, the day look, and the fashion look. And this is so helpful to um, people like me that still need help trying to put eye makeup and eyeshadow on. Um, definitely help us to put what goes in the right spot. So this is another one of my go-to eye makeup eyeshadow sets. Alright, and the last item is a Julep Maven nail polish. I just got this in my May box. Um, and it's called Cheryl. It is the most gorgeous orange, sunny, beautiful color for summer. Um, I had this on my nails a couple weeks ago, and I just love it. The color is just gorgeous. I can't say um, enough about it. It's just a gorgeous orange color. And um, I'll try to insert a picture right here. Hopefully I remember. So, gorgeous Cheryl Julep Maven. Um, if any of you guys have not tried the Julep Maven subscription box, um, it is definitely one of everybody's favorites out there. I have not really seen anything bad about this box. Um, you got to try it, and you can try it, your first box, for a penny. Um, I mean, it's, it's $20 a month, but your first box is a penny. You can't go wrong with that. So if, you, if anybody is interested, I'll put a link down below and the, um, the little promotion code that you need for your penny box. Um, no shipping and handling, just one penny. So you guys have to try that out. It's definitely one of my favorites. All right, so that is it. My five favorites right now and my five um, not so favorites. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.